the Montgomery County Volunteer Center offers an online database to match volunteers with service organizations. One of those organizations is KindWorks, which puts together meaningful volunteer projects for groups or individuals. We grew out of Mover Moms, and the model there was moms and kids volunteering together. Um, and we found that we had lots of lovely female non-moms and lots of lovely males of all ages that um, had lots to give back and really nowhere to give back, or they couldn't find what they were looking for. So we've enlarged and we've become KindWorks, and we um, create volunteer projects that really address needs in the refugee community in our area, in the low-income community in our area, and with um, inmates who will soon be returning back to our community. And what we do at KindWorks is we make the opportunities, we put that together so that people don't have to worry about the organizing because I think a lot of people are, um, they're just a little bit intimidated by um, by putting together a whole project like that. They like to help, but they're not quite sure how. And KindWorks gives them a way to do it where they can spend an afternoon or an evening, but they don't have to commit, unless they would like to, a lot of hours to making the community a better place. Today we're going to be serving dinner at a shelter um, in Rockville. So we've got um, maybe 10 or 12 um, individuals who each have signed up for a small part of a dinner coming and, and bringing that part of the dinner and then we'll all be working together to serve with a smile um, and interact with the ladies. We're going to bring dinner and breakfast for the next morning and some pantry items for 35 women. Chef Bala Denise to tell you you've got breakfast items. Mm -hmm. Go all the way down this little hall to the right. There's a pantry. Paper towel. And then we have another group coming later that's going to throw a birthday party for all 70 women at the shelter. And we're going to throw a bingo jewelry party. So we'll all play bingo. We'll all have ice cream and cake. And everybody gets to win a piece of jewelry that they pick out. And the birthday gals will get their own special piece of jewelry as well. I come here every um, month to help around. Well, originally I did it to gain some SSL hours, but I realized that I like helping people. We have over 1,200 people that get our newsletter. They might be interested in making a donation, um, financially supporting us. Um, when we started our refugee work a year and a half ago, people crawled out of the woodwork who had been involved and then weren't for a long time, but that spoke to them. We connected with the, um, the agencies that provide the apartments for um, new legal refugee families. And we found out that the apartments were um, provided, but were empty. So um, we're like, we know a lot of people who have extra bedding, extra kitchenware, extra furniture. And um, it just, it's just been amazing the way um, the outpouring of donations is, is still continuing and people are very eager to help in that space. We now have a cooking project that is cooking recovered food and the food goes to the food insecure. That has brought people out of the woodwork. You never really know what's going on both in the world and in people's lives that bring them back in. We had a good 100 or 150 who are just committed volunteers that come back time and again. I'm actually volunteering because of my kids. <laughs> I hope they see the big picture too. Come, I mean, ju not just me. Being able to help um, people who's less fortunate compared to uh, compared to us. You can show up once and you've got a, a meaningful thing to do that makes an impact on other people, um, or you can sign up to come back when it works for you. The only project that has an ongoing commitment is our work in the jail. Um, there's a whole 10-week curriculum that our volunteers support. It's run by the American Job Center and it's um, a partnership out of WorkSource Montgomery. Um, so we do all that, provide volunteers to support that curriculum, but we also do some of our own programming. Um, we do a role play weekly programming so that as these guys, because we work with the men there, as these guys are learning new skills, it's one thing to learn it and forget it and then get out in pr and have pressure and expect yourself to recall it, and it's another thing to keep practicing. So we're going to do a weekly kind of life coaching game um, where you can practice those skills. KindWorks also cares about the environment. We adopted um, a road in Bethesda, Sangamore Road. Uh, we have heard really wonderful things that KindWorks does for the communities. Um, 
One of the aspects is weed warriors, where we learn about invasive weeds that can infect our plants and wildlife. And another is just cleanup. We look around streets and we clean up trash and we pick up recyclable materials. So we have a lot of volunteers here today. It's really exciting. We've committed to three or four times a year, not only picking up trash and recyclables, but we then also partnered with um, the Little Falls um, Watershed Alliance. And they come and teach our volunteers how to spot invasive vines that are strangling the native plants and trees and cut them out. Well, you get SSL hours and you get to help the environment and it feels pretty good to pull up a weed. It's pretty satisfying. So that's been a really fun addition to our environmental work down in Bethesda. Come and volunteer as a group or individually. Um, we work with groups. We, we really love to bring groups to meaningful volunteering really love to mix it up and have a few people from this temple and a few people from that mosque join these Girl Scouts. People get to know each other and understand their neighbors in such a rich way. We like that model too. Either way. I'd love for people to know um, about what we do and again if they have a, a day where they're reading the news and it just seems like the world is not such a great place, please come to a Kind Works project because your, your uh, outlook will get turned around within, within minutes. <laughs> there are thousands and thousands of community residents who make a big difference and the nonprofit service providers rely heavily on people. We, we can't meet people's needs without a strong volunteer effort and we're so grateful for the people who, who commit their time and help others. For more information on KindWorks, go to dokindworks.org.